Summer's here, and it's starting to get hot. Your car's air conditioning system is very important at this time. Today we're going to answer the question, do you really need a cabin air filter? Personally, I use it on all my cars because they're designed that way with a cabin air filter. Plus, living out here in the desert, there's a lot of dust, a lot of allergens, a lot of things in the air that I don't want to breathe in while I'm driving the car. So yes, I personally will always use a cabin air filter in my car. On a hot day like this, many people would wish that their AC was a little bit colder, that the air was a little bit stronger. I wonder if the cabin air filter creates a restriction that prevents the air from blowing colder and stronger. So in today's video, we're going to find out if it makes a difference. I stick strips of toilet paper to measure airflow. I will conduct this test with the cabin air filter on and also with the cabin air filter off to see if it makes a difference in airflow and how it cools down the car. I will run this test for five minutes and see what the results are. So here is our starting point at 110 degrees with the cabin air filter on and the AC turned on at its highest setting. After about 5 minutes, the temperature is 99 degrees. I'm going to turn the fan down so we can see the airflow at the lowest speed. There are plenty of good videos already on YouTube on how to remove and install air filter, so I'm not going to go over that. Next test is without the cabin air filter. Okay, after about five minutes, we're going to turn it down. This is the fan's lowest setting and the temperature is 99 degrees. Now my old cabin air filter is pretty dirty and these are all the things that came out of the filter when I try to shake it. So I'm going to put in the new filter and run the same test. Because the cabin air filter was so filthy, I replaced it. So I'm going to run the same test again with a clean cabin air filter. Starting point is 110. Now I'm going to turn down the fan speed to see if there's a difference in airflow. This is the lowest setting once again. With the engine off and the AC off, you can see quickly how fast the temperature went back up. So what's my conclusion? It really doesn't make much difference with the cabin air filter or without the cabin air filter or with a clean cabin air filter. The temperature varied just a few degrees, but I think 
the big picture is that it probably won't make a difference in this five minute test. Will it make a difference if the test was longer? I don't know, but with this test at five minutes, it doesn't make much difference. So with that, if your car comes with the cabin air filter, great. If it does not, that's also good too. So anyway, the conclusion is that it's pretty much the same with or without it. So therefore the cabin air filter does not restrict airflow or takes longer to cool your car, really. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.